Hey guys. I, I I'm sorry. Skyrim is officially bugged out the hell. I I tried everything. Hell, I even went tried to reload my own Breton character, and when I even do that, the game just completely crashes. <sighs> And when I play with my Dwemer character, 30 seconds in, it crashes. Nothing. I got nothing. I can't play anymore. My series is officially over. I, I, I try and fix it, but I can't. Then I make a hundred episodes. I really did. Well, we had our fun. So how about you just tell me in the comments, what was one of your favorite moments in my uh, Let's Play series? Hmm. What would be my favorite? Well, to be honest, I'd say my favorite moment is when I was playing my Dwemer character, and I make that badass speech against the the dra against Alduin, and pretty much just be do become a badass against him. And whoop! Yeah. Hey, stay down. Mm. 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 Stupid. <laughs> okay. Okay. Day. Look, my other hand ain't doing anything. See? See? My hands aren't doing anything. Okay? See? My hands are here at... Yeah, I suppose some of my other favorite moments, uh... Well... Mm-hmm. Where's the ones that stand out? Well, there was that time I got drunk on when I got really high on scuba and went streaking, <laughs> riding the giant derby. That was a good moment. That was a really good. Camera, I'm not gonna do this. I'm not doing that, camera. I oh, come on. I don't want to do. I don't want to have that as being a running gag. Okay. I want to just want to be on my body and <sighs> yeah yeah stop don't laugh at me <sighs> other favorite moments well anything involving me getting freaked out by the MLP ponies there was even a cut joke you know this is during my trying me recording where I saw him pinky by you know, the writer, and she's like, nobody breaks a pinky promise, and I'm just like, okay, okay, I'm just gonna back away slowly, oh god, he's following me, ah! I'm gonna do that again, ah! Ah! hmm, I could be an extra in a horror movie, ah! Maybe I can be the monster. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I... <sighs> you know, it's sad that I can't continue the series because I really wanted to finish up, do all the other quests. Because the only quest slide I really completed was the Dark Brotherhood. I got close to completing the Mages Guild, but no, that's it. Maybe someday I'll return to Skyrim. Maybe I'll just erase the mod, every mod, and have to start all over. <sighs> Maybe another time we'll do it. Maybe another day we'll eventually. Maybe another day eventually I will. So, other games I'll be playing. Hmm. 
Well, I got a friend who wants me to play Company of Heroes off of Steam. There's System Shock 2 off of Steam, which actually is a game I've always wanted to play for a long time, but here's the problem. As you see, I... Hey, hey, don't! Don't! Quit it! Quit it! Quit... Uh, come on! Quit it! <sighs> Stupid camera. Okay. Stay. 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 Okay, that one was on me. Anyway. Other games? Well, I do want to do game develop. I do want to do game dev tycoon. That game seems like a lot of fun. I mean, I've, I've been watching Sips's recording of it, you know, Let's Play of it with Sipsco, no gaming, and I gotta say, <laughs> a lot of fun. I played the demo, lots of fun. Uh, other games, well, Bioshock. I do want to play the Bioshock trilogy. Um, there really aren't that many other games I have on the lookout. Of course, I'm going to be continuing my Skies of Arcadia. So, I want, maybe I'll try and continue Pikmin 2. I'll try and get the settings right. I know I had to speed up my emulator so I can go with the thing, but I think that sort of screws up with Pikmin. Uh, other games. Uh, I want to try and do Super Paper Mario. I want to do try Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Because that that's one of my favorite role-playing games. Um, maybe a Harvest Moon game, because... Who doesn't like Harvest Moon? That was one of, I got addicted to Harvest Moon 64 when I was a kid. I went like 10 years within the game. That is a lot of time spent. In case you're wondering, I married Ellie. Yes, I do remember which girl I got married to. Yes, I cried when her grandmother died. I was a little kid. Kind of weird how... All my cows could give birth and uh, give milk, despite the fact there was no bowls nearby. That that doesn't sound. Suddenly, I'm getting very horrible images in my head that, if I mention, I'll probably get arrested for. Anyway, uh, anyway, Skyrim is officially over. Is pretty much gone. It's over. It's not coming back for a long... It's not going to be coming back for a long time. I'm sad. You're sad. We're all sad. But it could be worse. Oh, yeah. Pirates at Ocean's End? Um, well, give me a moment. I'll go... I need to do some. Hmm. Hmm. All right, I had to. Uh, I'm on Skype with someone. Anyway, I'll, I'll uh, show you some of the cool new ships I got. All right, let's take a look. I'm not gonna show you every ship that I got, but. I'll show you a couple of the, the really big ones that I get. Okay. Here we have the Mystic. And it is a wind catcher, meaning... Meaning... Basically, when I measure distance, I can measure from this side and basically immediately turn it around and go, whoop! Yeah, so, say if I get into a fight with, um, this, yes, I got a sea monster, it's like, Whoop. oh, we are out of here, Whoop. for the record, this is Champ, who the hell is Champ, I mean, I would get maybe if this is a Loch Ness monster or something, but, who the hell is Champ, what kind of name is that for a monster? 
there and like, Grrr. Sorry, I'm sorry, Mr. Champ, I'm sorry. And then, quite possibly my biggest ship, the Polaris. A double cataram. <clears throat> a double catamaran. Yeah. And after the ship resolves a shoot action, it can move as a free action. It can only move one L, but... Damn. You do not want to get in its way. It will pin you. Yeah. Alright. What other ships can I show you? Well, uh, these two ships, uh, the Wicked, the Wicked Katarine, focus, focus. <sighs> yes, the Wicked Kareen. It is a galley. Now, what nationality? As you can see, I bought a lot of packs, so I got a lot of repeats. Let's see. Yes, no. Okay, it is a Barbar Barbary Cor Corsair. Barbary Corsair? A Barbary Cora... Barbary... I, I can't even pronounce that. Uh, C-O-R-S-A-I-R. Barbary Corsair? How do you say it? Well, galleys are very unique. First up, while this, when this ship rams, it, can't, it doesn't destroy a mast. Uh, what else? Ugh, damn it, where? No. Turn the bottom. Let's see. Galley, 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 galley. Alright. Ship with this keyword cannot be pinned or pinned. If it rams, cannot eliminate mess. The free action, I may rotate the stern, the rear of the ship, in any direction after I completed a move. So I can be like, whoop, give myself a poised start to get the hell out of Dodge. And if it is a derelict, I can move one small because it's got little rowers. So you can move your. So basically, move my. Uh, <laughs> when rowers get here, he's like, whoop, get to work. Oh we oh you oh oh we oh you oh wait that's some Wizard of Oz I can't believe I still remember that I haven't seen that movie in fifteen years I think all right let me see if I can get this back on oh wait I'm backwards <laughs> in case you're wondering uh this ship is Silent Death creepy. And as part of an action, I may initiate a boarding party the one S away. And the board ship can't use any boarding bonuses, so ha ha ha. Whereas this ship, while well, my Wicked Kareen gets plus one cannon rolls and boarding rolls against American ships. So basically, if you're a colonist, you're fucked. Especially since one cannon actually, I have to roll a two or higher to hit. So basically, if I if I fire at least one, I'm gonna do damage to at least one American ship. And the best part is it's uh, it only costs ten points to use, which is actually kind of funny. Okay, you move one S and one L, whereas the Silent Deaf Year costs twelve points, has two mass. Yeah. Two mass. Well, it is good for boarding. I mean, it's got a nice uh, cargo hold of four. It's kind of funny, really. All right. Okay. 
Okay. So. All right. Is there any more I could show you that's a little unique? Um. Well, I only got one more. Yes. So, you know what nationality this is? Autofocus. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Backstory behind the uh, sea serpent here. Captain Mays put out a word that the first Jade Rebellion crew to turn themselves in would get a bag of gold and a piece of land in California. The crew of the Sea Serpent were the only takers. I bet you can guess what happened to the crew of this ship. They got paid and pretty much said, hey, work for us, you get more gold, you get more land, and you get to ruin someone else's day. I was like, yeah! Wait, the Japanese still. Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't read this. So yeah, it's a junk ship, which means that normally when you shoot out of a cannon, you have to shoot, you have to measure distance from, like, the mast, and you're not allowed to shoot through your own mast. As a junk ship, you don't have to worry. Normally a self-respecting pirate wouldn't shoot themselves, no self-respecting pirate would shoot through their own mast. These guys are not self-respecting pirates. They're like, we got nothing to lose. We're coming for you. Also, when he resolves a shoot action, I can move as a free action. So basically, I can be like, boom, and then, whoop, a second, boom, whoop, whoop. Let's go off screen. Doesn't really work when they see my hand, my very hairy arm. Oh, sorry, boss. Bing! I, I, I didn't actually mean to do that. Is that right? Hello? Are you okay? Guys? Hey guys, you fine? We're okay! You're a parent. Oh. Uh. <laughs> hey, we're alive! Oh no! Oh no! It's Champ! Wait, you're Champ? Yeah. What the? the what? Why are they, Why can't we get killed by Loch Ness Monster? Oh, for the last time, every time I come and do something, they're always like, Oh, why can't they send Messi? Oh, why can't they send the Kraken? Oh, why can't they say, oh, you don't want to fuck you! <laughs> and that, kids, is why you do not mess with Champ. Oh, you didn't get to see that. <sighs> Whoops. That, 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 that was awkward. So yeah, it's like, <laughs> God, I'm a little kid. I'm just a kid in an adult's body. <laughs> oh my god, he took his head! But no! And what would happen if he took his head? <laughs> By the way, sea monsters do not get repair action. So that kind of makes sense. So yeah, that's pretty much all the unique ships I got. I got some basic other ships. That's my only junk ship that I got. Oh, but I also, uh, I also got a really cool tin. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty sweet tin. It really is shaped like a treasure chest. Yar. 
There's nothing. Bury it! Why? Because the next pirates who come in, you get nothing. So we may laugh at them. Alright, this vlog's gone on long enough. I'll see you later. Bye!